Speaker of the House of Representatives, right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, has expressed alarm at the alarming uh, statistics on crude oil theft, stating that between January and July 2024, the country lost an average of 437,000 barrels of crude oil per day due to theft, vandalism, and other criminal activities. This equates to over $10 billion in losses. Abbas is in talks with security agencies to tackle the menace, while Akume and Inamdi uh, cite the Nidra Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative's 2020 oil and gas report. At the current price of oil, this translates to over $10 billion over this period of seven months. I wonder how a government that loses about $10 billion in seven months will be expected to meet up with its responsibilities for the citizens. So when the people cry on the streets, it's because they have lost hope in the oil and gas sector. There is no magic this government can do without being energized by the core source of our revenue, which is the oil and gas sector from where it is supposed to meet the obligations of his administration. No magic at all. So for those who are on the streets waiting for the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to do magic, he cannot do it from his pocket. He will do it from the national pocket. And the national pocket is bleeding $10 billion seven months. The government has invested considerable resources in combating this menace. Since 2020, expenditure aimed at addressing crude oil theft and securing our oil infrastructure has exceeded $1.5 billion. These funds have been allocated towards enhancing surveillance capabilities, securing pipelines, and increasing the presence of law enforcement agencies in critical oil producing areas. Thus, the hearing marks a, a pivotal step in our concerted efforts to confront this issue head on. Honorable Al Asin Dogua, Chairman of the Special Committee on Crude Oil Theft and Losses, has identified inadequate firepower and weapons of engagement as the cause of high losses, emphasizing the need for collective Nigerian efforts. Our discussions with stakeholders today and those we have engaged before have revealed that oil theft is not only a significant revenue loss for the country, but also a threat to national security and regional stability. The theft is categorized into onshore losses involving sabotage of pipelines and installations for local markets and offshore losses perpetrated by organized criminal syndicates for international buyers. Addressing this issue requires a multifaceted approach, including effective, effective prosecution and punishment of perpetrators, better synergy amongst trigger agencies, maritime safety review, financial responsibility, and development of advanced technology. This thing we are talking about is not, is not rocket science. The people who are supporting this in this space are known. They are known by names, they are known by companies, they are known by account details. Let us not pretend to this matter. If we pretend to this matter, we may never solve the problem. I say collaborate with Nigerian Department of State Security Service. You will have every information. And I believe there's every information available for us to work to, to solve this problem and to stop this balance. We have to do it. Last year, the Speaker, Tajin Abbas, formed a special committee to investigate Nigeria's oil theft and losses in the oil and gas sector. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.